creating a report view in iSupport. Use views to monitor and track work items. You can display views on the desktop for support representatives and on a MySupport portal for end users. In iSupport, there are two types of views, standard views and report views. The standard view designer enables you to utilize a few calculated fields, but not calculated counts, percentages, sums, averages, minimums, and maximums on selected fields. Use the report view designer to create report views that include calculated counts, percentages, sums, averages, minimums, and maximums on selected fields. In this video, we'll cover how to create a report view called Incident Counts by Assignee Location, Current Year. Use the Show All Settings link to configure settings that affect the entire view, including permissions and sharing. In the Data Source field, select the type of data on which the view will be based. Use the Add link in the Folder and Row Groups section to group data in a folder on the left side navigator, or to display a data value in a column such as a character string. In this example, data will be grouped by assignee location. You can edit the selected field label. Use the folder level column to group data in the view. You can either select a number to display a field as a folder in a left navigator, or select none to display a field as a character string in a column, as in this example. For the column display order, enter the number for the position of the column. You would select hidden in this field if you wish to group data as a folder and not a column, or if you wish to prevent the field grouping from displaying in the view. Use the calculated field section to add columns with counts or percentages. Click the Add link to add a row, enter the name of the column in the Column Heading field, select whether it is a count or a percentage, and then select a field via the Add link under Conditions. Use the Aggregate Fields section to add a column that displays the minimum, maximum, sum, or average value for a selected field. Use the Filter section to configure conditions for restricting and minimizing data in the entire view. In this example, the view will only report on incidents created during the current year. Use the Preview tab to display your view. That's it for an overview of how to create a report view in iSupport. If you have any questions, be sure to consult the online help. Our support team is available for a more in-depth walkthrough. Contact them via email at support at iSupport.com and via phone at 360-397-1099. They're available from 6 a.m. to 5 p.m. PST, Mondays through Fridays, and from 8 a.m. to 5 p.m. PST on Saturdays and Sundays for critical system failures such as installation errors, inability to log in, or inability to create work items. You can also go to mysupport.isupport.com, iSupport Software's technical support website, to chat with support representatives, Submit and view incidents, search the knowledge base, view facts, submit ideas, and participate in the user discussion forum.